Welcome back to Game Day. So this is Dan. And Gail. And we're playing uh, Knights of Couture. Where? I mean, Knights of the Old Republic. Couture? What's Couture? Knights of the Old Republic, Couture. Oh. That's what people call it for short. Um, but, you know, <laughs> Andrew couldn't be here, and Cameron couldn't be here for the series. Strange how that happens I every time you're going to play a game. No, I can upgrade items. But, um, oh, I think you can upgrade the sword, really? It actually has an icon lit up. Prototype vi Vibro Blade. I guess you can make that if you want to. But, um, I'm sure Andrew sends his regards uh, in this little message he had made for you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a beer. Gail doesn't drink alcohol. It is instead an energy drink. But the sound's the same. Well, technically it's sparkling energy water. Is it a drink? Is it advertised to give you energy? Then it's an energy drink. I drink it because this one tastes good. It's the unsweetened one, by the way. I can see that. Carbonated water. Pretty much. Okay, so I don't know what this is doing, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Alright, you're not even doing melee anyway, you're doing blasters. Which is strange, because I figured you want to do melee, because lightsabers are melee. Well, I, if they gave me a lightsaber, then yes, I'd use a lightsaber, but they yeah, gave me blasters. You're going, you're going to spec yourself for, like, blasters, and then you're going to get a lightsaber, you're not going to be any good at it. See what I'm saying? You know, Padawans have to train with the wooden lightsaber before they give them the real one. Right, you aliens come. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. Oh, it's like the Gestapo. Oh, because you understand languages. Yeah. That's their fun way of saying you get to read subtitles. That's how we sit deep at smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. No, you've already lost your temper. You haven't gotten it yet. So, Sith are, um... Jerks! Racist? Yeah, they're into segregating. Damn. Wait. Wait a second. This is a galaxy far, far away. Why are they called humans? Why do they speak English? Because we humans have to understand, otherwise we wouldn't watch the movie. But... I would watch the movie! Are they called humans in the book? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then. They're called humans in the movies, too. I've never heard them say human in the movies. The Ewoks call them humans? Granted, you have to read Ewok subtitles, really. Do they call them humans? I'm pretty remember. sure it's humans mentioned. Still, that's like the third movie. Well, uh, at this point, it's the sixth movie. Yeah, sure. You, you excited for the seventh movie? Not really. Disney has it, though. They're the only company that can actually has enough of a budget. I know, but the books I love are not going to be canon anymore. No, no, they're not. Which means all the history and the lore that I really enjoy about Star Wars is suddenly null and void. It's like a band-aid. Rip it off now, then disappoint you later. Right? Well, it already disappoints me. You can bash it down or open it up. Locky, locky, sneaky, sneaky. I guess I'll try to open it. Done. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Done! Anybody can cook? Who are you? What are you doing in here? <laughs> That's no excuse. Good. I... Fine! You were friendly. I What are those type of aliens called? I don't know. They're the, like the, the slughead ones. Yeah. Well, you're like, you say you were a Star Wars nerd. Yeah, but I don't know the names of things, I just know the stories. 
there's a difference between being obsessed and like knowing everything and just knowing enough to be able to drive somebody nuts. Alright. So, do any of your books take place before this? Before this? No, I never read like the old, old stuff. Ah. I like the stuff that kind of started a few years before um, New Hope. Why? It was more concise. It's always easier to write stories if you start at a point and work forward versus going backwards. Alright. I'm gonna do some uh, spoilers for the books. I don't know what books they are. Gail will have to tell me. These are crazy things I've heard about that used to be canon because they were in the books. Wait, wait, are you about to quote that one book I told you about? That would be one that of them. One Seriously? But not the only one. There's two. Seriously? You have to read so many books there's, to get the backstory. There's two. Alright, number and I one. And let me guess, I told you both of them. No, the first one I heard, and you confirmed. Um, can you play? Well, I do this. One. I'm not part of this. Chewbacca dies. But what's important is how Chewbacca dies. He has a planet crash into him. He dies because a planet falls on him. Right? I'm, you read that book. I am not getting into this argument. Did you read that book? Yep. Did I that... also read a book where he technically came back from the dead. Yeah, yes. he comes back to life. Well, as well. Technically, like that. I don't think that one was canon, though. Oh really? I don't think so. It seemed fishy to me. Mm. Is there is there like a website you can see what books are canon or were canon? I should say. I probably. There's a lot of arguments about which ones are and aren't. I usually stick to authors I knew were. Terrace. All right, anyway. Second one. The one you know I'm talking about. Is that one canon? Yeah. That one's canon. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be a bit of a journey. And this, I, like, again, I've never read the books. So this is specifically based off of what Gail's told me in the past. So, um, eventually, after the after the, all the movies and stuff like that, uh, Luke Skywalker starts teaching you Jedis, and he has some Padawans and stuff like that, and his sister's, like, super cool Jedi lady, too. Whatever, blah blah blah. At some point, Luke Skywalker gets knocked into a coma by the Sith Lord, right? An undead Sith guy, yeah. An undead Sith Lord. Uh, so, undead people exist in the Star Wars universe now. An undead Sith Lord knocks uh, Luke Skywalker into a coma, or just flat out kills him? Uh, he's technically in a comatose state. All right, he's in a comatose state. He's not really set. alive. He's not really dead. And his uh, his his two youngest padawans, or something like that, are basically what the story revolves around. And like they're trying to kill the Sith Lord. I don't, I don't know if they're they're not padawans at that point. Okay, but they're, and they're trying to kill the Sith Lord, right? Well, they're not trying to kill him. The actual padawans are trying to kill the Sith Lord. The two kids are just there at the time. Right. Does Luke Skywalker have kids, or he hit his kids? No, they're Leia's. Oh, Leia's, Leia's kids. Oh, yeah. Han they're Leia's so kids. they're Solo Skywalker. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that does happen. In case you people were worried. Um, but the most amazing part of the story is that Luke Skywalker in the coma is fighting the undead Lich with his mental mind powers and his spirit form. Right? You'd probably have a better grasp on it if you actually read the book. Is that what happens? He's basically, he's spirit fighting this Sith Lord. In a rough D&D sense, yes. Now, what is the name of that book? So that people can go look this up, read it if they want to. I believe that's part of the trilogy that's Children of the Jedi. Or, ooh, what is it? It's one of my favorite se little series of books. But I don't memorize the titles. But anyway, Luke Skywalker fights a Jedi, a Sith Lord, an undead Sith Lord, in a coma, using his spirit force. Sort of. And then I think the way you explained it to me is that like it was literally like a spiritual version of Luke Skywalker was literally no. Like fighting. No. No. 
No, he helps the kid. One of the kids fight. Wait. You didn't you, say this. You seriously have to read the books. You said you said he fought him with like his spirit powers. Yeah. But now you're telling me that the kid's fighting him. And yeah, but how is he helping him? Help me understand this better by explaining it. Here, I'll give you a 500 page book. They'll explain it. Oh no, I'm not reading this. And then you'll have to read the other 500 page book in order to it. get to the third book, which just actually takes place then. Nope. It I has Chewbacca. I don't read franchise books that have to, that are books about a franchise such as D and D books or. Says the man who read D and D books. I read the rules books. I haven't read any actual story books mm. in D and D world. I read the rules books because I didn't know how to play. Because I knew I was the only way I was going to get a chance to actually try out what this amazing thing that everybody's always been talking about for the past like forty years. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, yeah, 40 years, yeah. Technically, you've read a franchise book. But you read it before it was a franchise book. What? <laughs> Ender's Game! Technically, there's now a movie! No. Because <laughs> it started as a book series, it got yeah, turned into I a know. movie. So, it is not a very good movie. It was decent, but had horrible plot holes. Like, it was filmed well. Look at that. Yeah. It seemed acted well. They just need to fill in. You're I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm wandering around the town shooting bad guys. Healing yourself. All right, here's the problem with Ender's Game. It's acted well, but the thing is the pacing is my run horrible. My sprint button? There's no sense of time. So as far as you're concerned, the entire movie takes place in a week. Because there's no way to tell, tell... There's nothing to tell you otherwise. If there's I no day-night cycle. If Sith troopers while I get in trouble... Like, in the first, like, in ten minutes of the movie, he's uh, he just shows up as a cadet in battle school. In the next ten minutes, he's running his own leadership. In the next ten minutes, he's in command school. Like, there's no there's no pacing in that movie. Which just makes it almost not make sense. And it makes it almost kind of seem like a parody. And that's the biggest problem with it. And it doesn't really touch on the psychological aspects that are in the book. And how they, like, everything happens for a reason. It just kind of just shows events happening and doesn't tell you, doesn't really explain yeah. that everything. Which after after we watched the movie, we watched the uh, deleted scenes and discovered so many of the deleted scenes actually explained things that we thought were pretty major plot holes. Yeah, clearly the, the deleted scenes were cut probably to make it fit to a certain size or for budgeting or something like that. It was just, it would have been so nice to have the cutscenes in there. Oh, I guess I can't talk to the droid. Can I talk to you? Can I buy a droid? <laughs> Don't offer it if it's not for sale. So, um, I just remembered something that we mentioned in one of the movies, um, about Yoda. And Yoda lives basically on top of some dead person's body. Wait, what? The, there's like this old hermit, that there, like... That's probably an urban legend. I mean, seriously, no, it just sounds like, sketchy. It's in one of the movies or the books or something like that, that he that when he gets to that asteroid planet that he's on whatever, he kills somebody. And um, supposedly he just takes the guy's house. Or, he, or something seriously? like that. Seriously? Who told you that? I don't remember. It was somebody, some nerd show I was watching was talking about it, and they like, made a comment about, oh, by the way, you know, like, you ever, you ever notice that Yoda's technically just living on some dead person's house? And like, 
probably just bury the guy in the house or something like that. Is it from one of the books or, for, or from no. some, some mention in the movie no. or something like that? No, that's just totally made up stuff. Greg is all made up. But oh. this just sa- that just sounds... I don't think it is. Um, I wish I could remember where I heard that. Um, but yeah, I guess there used to be like a, like a Sith or something that lived there. or some- I forget what it was. Like a smuggler or a Sith that like Yoda ended up killing for some reason. Probably because he was some evil dude. And I like absolutely no idea. What basically, you're just took about. it for his own home. Do I get in trouble for shooting these guys? Do you have the option to? Well, they haven't given me the option to. Then you probably can't shoot them. Right. Uh, join us next time in Walk Around the City Day, where I once again come to up to the issue of this is not like Infamous, and we can't just knock out the bad guys. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.